Hello, this is Andre from Sketch Engine, and in this screencast, I will show you the basics of using CQL, which stands for Corpus Query Language. Learning to use CQL is useful if you need to search for complex lexical or grammatical structures in the corpus. If this is not what you need, please look at the video about word sketch or basic and advanced concordance search. The CQL is a special code or query language which can combine words, part of speech tags, corpus structures such as beginnings and ends of sentences or paragraphs, or even unspecific criteria into one search. Let's start by showing how to find examples of mind business such as mind your business, mind your own business, mind his own business, and so on. The easiest way to find such examples is to use the word sketch, but for the purpose of learning, we'll try to find the examples using CQL. There are three words in the phrase, so Three pairs of square brackets are needed, one for each token. Each word is a token and punctuation is a token too. The first token is the word mind. If we want to find all forms of the verb, such as minds, minding, minded, we'll use lemma instead. Let's not set any criteria for the second token. It can be any word. And the last token will be the lemma business. Make sure you use straight quotes, not rounded ones. You can use spaces to make the CQL easier to read. As a rule of thumb, do not use spaces inside quotes. The search found some examples where mind is not a verb. Let's fix that. I will use an additional condition for the first token, a part of speech tag. If you do not remember the tags used in this corpus, you can insert them like this. The second token should be a pronoun. The query can be understood as find a sequence of three tokens where the first one is any word form of mind and is not a noun. The second is a pronoun and the third is any form of the word business. I would also like to include the results with the word own such as mind your own business. I need another pair of square brackets and I will mark it optional by using a question mark. Own and business don't appear in any other word form in this phrase, so I could use word and the results would be the same. You can test yourself if I'm right. The default attribute lets you simplify the query. It will be used for all tokens which do not have an attribute assigned explicitly. Setting it to Word will simplify the query like this. To explore more variations inside the phrase, you might try a less specific search.
this search would read as find all word forms of mind not used as a noun followed by the word business with no token or one or two or three random tokens in between. This might include some unwanted results, but might also identify some interesting and unexpected ones. Complex CQL queries on a large corpus may take several minutes to complete. To generate a list of all possible variations of the phrase, use the frequency in the concordance toolbar. There are many more things you can do with CQL. You will find more tips in another screencast. You can also learn more about CQL from our website. To try Sketch Engine, register for a free trial on sketchengine.eu. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.